Good evening to you once more, televiewers. Welcome to another edition of Business Insight on Cine TV. If you are just coming across this channel for the first time, please hit the subscription button, the notification bell, so that we we'll upload videos like this, you'll be able to watch. In this edition of the program, we'll be discussing about how to generate and develop business ideas. But before we go to that talking point, stay tuned while we come back. <music> Viewers, the topic we are going to be discussing about today, like I rightly said, is all about how to generate and develop business idea. Now, here we go. Developing a business idea is like conceiving a baby. Yeah, it starts with a mindset and proceed with actions. Okay, this is how you go about it. In any environment that you live in, there are problems in that environment. So long as people are in that environment, there are problems in that environment. The moment you start to look for those problems and the solution on how you can solve those problems, you are moving towards developing a business idea. When you try to look for the solution of these problems, when you come out with a solution, it is an idea. Now, somebody will ask me, how does this got to relate with business ideas or business? The answer is what I'm going to explain to you now. When you develop that idea, it is left for you to take another step forward to bring that idea into reality. In the process of bringing that idea into reality, you need something that is called resources and capital. And you can remember for those who are following this program on Senate TV, on chapter one of this program, we discuss about capital. Now, your ability to bring capital now in, into the idea that you have developed to make it real, is what we call investment. When you bring the idea in, you bring those resources into it, you invest in that environment, normally, you are spent, for example, let me be using example so that you will be very, very clear on what I am going to be explaining to you. For example, I stay in an environment where agriculture is currently going on. There's excess of food crops like vegetable, sweet potatoes, all the light, onion, garlic, and the rest. In the nearest city, there are a lot of people in that city with high demand, but because we live in the suburbs, we have excesses and in the city, there's not enough food for people to eat. Okay, people need to buy. But because of price challenges due to the transport fare that people have added, it is a topic for another day. Food crops are very expensive. Okay, now you stay in the suburbs. Sometimes you have these crops and come and keep in the house. They got depreciated and uh, completely destroyed so that it does not even have any value and people don't use it because sometimes you don't even have the means to preserve it now you you are living in the suburb you have been looking and seeing this problem to be a real problem how to preserve this food so that it will not be destroyed and you market it and you have money you start to think about it you think about it so well so that you discover that the only way that you can do about this is 
one this is a new idea i'm bringing to you you choose to open an agency an agency you create a website you start to market your products online that means people give command because business is gradually shifting very fast to the digital world and you have to be ready to embrace it okay now you create this digital platform and now you market your products in it they are still in the farm when you market it someone buy you have to give a duration of delivery and in that process of giving the time of delivery you have to put now the time of harvest you only go to the farm to harvest the product when you're about to supply it to somebody who booked or who give a demand or a command before and you harvest this and deliver it at the end of the day business is well done it is well done the person who need the products have it in good condition you never get your product your products destroyed because you plan it so well and you always harvest it from the farm only when it is necessary and sometimes even if they are ready and mature enough by the time that they are very close to maturity you have to first of all start engaging the market asking people to give their commands so that as it is rounding up with maturity you start to harvest yes you have end up solving a problem of destroying food solving a problem of good services solving a problem of fresh meals with fresh vegetables and fresh food crops you have end up solving a problem of enough finance to boost agriculture in that environment because at the end of the day you have enough finance to boost agriculture in that area again you have end up solving a problem of directing people and making people become aware of what so ever is existing somewhere does reducing hunger in a place where there is not enough can you see why we say this is the best place for you to come and learn business ideas that is it this is how you go about a business idea you must learn how to have the subconscious mind to be able to think how you can solve the real problems that we face in our daily activities and the moment you activate this subconscious mind you bring your resources in you invest your resources you turn your resources to your soldiers to be able to produce your money okay how can you make profit out of what you are doing and what is a, enough resources to be invested to be able to gain what you are looking for is a topic for another day stay tuned and stay blessed while we come back with another hitting point in the next edition of this program thank you signing out i am charles Atabon. bye for today